rock. That one was a uh, that was a tough semifinal to start uh, there. Uh, three stalemates. Uh -huh. You're hitting nice single legs, but he's diving over, attacking the ankles. You remain composed. Did you know you were eventually going to crack that? Uh, I mean, I knew if I just kept hitting shots, eventually. I mean, I got into his leg like three or four times first minute, and he stalemated everyone. So by the fourth one, I mean, I knew it was coming soon. It was just a matter of time before I could crack my position just a little bit. Like hit that last one, have my head up kind of in his stomach there and that stopped him from jumping over and I finished with a double. One, so I knew in time it would come. One more weigh in tonight? Uh, yeah, yeah, I got a weigh out tonight. You weigh out. Uh -huh. First off, you probably don't have a hard time making the weight, do you? Nah, nah, one seven's not hard. So that's easy for you. You're probably a 74, 84 in college, but mm -hmm. you know, looking at this, staying focused. Mm -hmm. How hard has it been to stay focused all this year? You had all those injuries last year. Nothing major this year as we were talking, no hospitalization, but mm -hmm. how hard has it been to stay focused? I mean, it's been a little rough, you know, after Ironman, it was, uh, I was, you know, coming off a high for Ironman, it was kind of tough to stay intense and stay focused, you know, you're really banged up, and, you know, at your senior year, you're ready to, you're ready to move on to the next stage, and I mean, it's tough to stay motivated, but my, my dad and my coaches and my teammates as well really helped me, you know, stay focused this year, even through a couple of injuries that weren't too serious, but a couple of injuries that set some things off where they helped me stay focused throughout the year, so looking forward to my last high school match tonight. You're going up to Cleveland next week? Yes. How excited are you? This is probably gonna. Have you been to an NCAA tournament yet? Yeah, yeah, I've been to a couple. Yeah. How much? How excited are you for your brothers? Uh, I mean, I'm really excited for them. You know, I think they, I think they can both do it. You know, they got tough weights for sure. I mean, it's an NCAA tournament. You know, who doesn't have tough weights? But I, I really think they can do it both. And I'm really looking forward to watching them compete. I always look up to them. You know, just the way they carry themselves, the way they compete every time. I'm really proud of them. You're a two-time champ going for your third tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you fall short of being a four-time state champ. Yeah. How hungry and how much fire is there in your belly going to the next level? Uh, I mean, that, that loss my freshman year in the state finals definitely helped me as a wrestler. You know, I mean, you see it here, a lot of people say, you know, losses help them as a wrestler, and it really does. It makes you, it, it makes you pissed off for the next year. You know, it makes you come back harder. It makes you train harder. You know, you're having a rough practice, something like that. You think in the back of your head, I'm going to lose the state finals again, so it pushes you harder for sure. Next year, you're going to be even bigger than Mickey. Mm -hmm. Your first time you're going to be bigger than Mickey in a wrestling room with him, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's, I've always wrestled him through the summer and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, I've, it helps being bigger, that's for sure. I noticed it helps being bigger. But, uh, yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be my first time ever in a wrestling room with Mick, for sure. Yeah, because he's uh, five years ahead of me. So, I don't have, I never was in high school with him. So, it'll be fun to be on the same team with him. So, that'd be great. What do you do from now? Make that way out. What do you do from now until tomorrow afternoon? Um, make weight. Go out to eat tonight. Spend some time with the family and, you know, my my friends. And, uh, you know, just relax. Get ready for tomorrow. Just, you know, relax. Stay focused. Don't get too nervous right away. You know, wait till the match comes to get the nerves going. Bo, are Bo and Mickey here? Uh, I don't know if they're here this session, but they will They might be here this session. But uh, they'll, be, they'll be here tomorrow, I'm pretty sure, yeah. So it's, it's fun having them watch me, you know. You're really a bass fishing champion. Yeah, yeah. That's a real uh, thing. As of right now, I've, I've won more state titles in bass fishing. If I, in bass fishing, than I have wrestling. So if I win tomorrow, I'll be equal <laughs> champ in fishing and wrestling. Come on, man. I'm serious. Me Did you almost win the world championships or something? Uh, yeah, we went to, uh, we went to, we got like 30th in worlds and we got uh, 14th in nationals. So, you know, there was a couple hundred boats on there. There's like 300, 400 boats on the lake. We got 14th. Starting elevens is crazy. Yeah, it, it's fun. I do it with all my little uh, cousin. He's in the finals actually too. My cousin Tanner, uh, 113 pounder. He's in the finals too. So, for that. All right, man. Go get that way out. And you got anything else for me? Uh, nothing. nothing we'll probably try and grab you tomorrow uh, tomorrow evening after you guys are hoisting another uh, championship trophy. All right, man. All right, sounds good.